the PDS Pile Driving Application. In this movie we will look how a PDS Pile Driving configuration may look like. The views used for a Pile Driving application. The Pile Data file which includes the designed Pile positions. And how to import this file. And finally we will demonstrate an example of a Pile Driving workflow. First we will take a look how a Pile Driving configuration may look like. Open the configuration. Open the vessel configuration via double click on the vessel. The vessel configuration opens on the geometry page. For this pile driving project we use two GPS antennas mounted on the pile leader. The device offset are set. The zero reference point is the middle of the GPS antenna bracket. The offset of the pile leader is also measured to this point and set in the offset list. When we take a look to the equipment page, we see the added devices for this project. The sensors measuring the pile position, heading and inclination are all mounted on the pile leader in this example. The sensors in the pile leader forms our main system. The pile driving machine consists of the pile driving rig and the pile leader with the hammer. The pile leader position moves independently of the pile driving rig by moving the catch boom and the backstay. To show in PDS the pile driving rig and the pile leader in the views we add besides the main system for the pile leader, the subsystem to show the pile rig. These systems may have their own position sources. A subsystem is added by pressing the add subsystem button. If to a subsystem no heading, positioning or the RU sensor is added, then this data of the main system is used. For this configuration it means the positioning and heading information from the main system is used. Only a VIU is added to the subsystem in this example configuration. The main system includes in this configuration. A positioning system to measure the pile leader position. A heading source to measure the pile leader heading. And vertical reference unit to measure the pile leader, roll and pitch. And the special pile driving device driver needed for the pile driving computations always add this device driver this device driver is added from the special device group as for any configuration must the device properties and IO port set in the special pile driving device properties we set the shape of the pile leader open the pile driver properties In this example a custom shape is used for the pile leader. The shape was added to the project. The properties of the positioning system, heading source and VRU, are also set as in any other project. In the subsystem position properties we select the shape of the pile driving rig. Also for the pile driving rig is a custom shape used. In this configuration a sketch up drawing. In the computations page it is possible to add advanced computations. In this configuration are advanced computations not added. The primary data sources are set in the data sources page. For so far the vessel configuration of the pile driving project. Let's now start real time acquisition and take a look to the used views. In this project is a screen layout defined a numeric standard view to show values of selected data items. The pile driving control view, to select a pile data file, the piles to place and to generate a report after the placement of a pile. The dredge control bar to select quickly grid models. The plan view construction with three bars, to show by up down indicators the positioning of the pile driving rig with respect to the selected pile. The 3D view online dredge construction. To show in 3D the piles and pile driving rig positioning. The plan view construction bullseye. The plan view construction bullseye shows a bullseye with the selected pile centered on it. The view shows the positioning of the pile graphically and numerically. The views, except the pile driving control view, are added in the standard way. Right click in the title bar. And select the add display. Menu item to open a list with views to add. The pile driving control view is added differently. 
open the Tools menu and select the Equipment Control menu item. Select the control view and press the Add button. Let's take a closer look to the Plan View construction with three bars view. The view shows the pile driving rig and the pile leader. The piles to place. The red line is the designed heading for the pile driving rig. Three bars are attached to the view. In the bar is an up down indicator to show a value. The user can select the value to show. Right click on the bar to set the value to show. Press the layer control item. In the up down layer is an item showed. In this example, the along ship distance. Select the item and press the edit button. Select the source item attribute and select the item to show. The pile driving computation values are listed under the special pile driving device. The along ship distance item is selected in this example. It shows the distance between the selected pile and the pile center in the leader. Set for each bar the applicable up down indicator. Let's take a closer look to the 3D view online dredge construction. Use the mouse to change the orientation of the data in the view. The show data in the views is added from the PDS layers. Open the layer control. When a new view is added to the screen layout, then layers must be added. Press the add button to add a layer. The piles are showed in the piles layer. In this example, the pile layer was already added. Select the layer and press the Edit button to change the properties. The 3D construction layer shows the pile's driving computation. In this example the layer is already added to the view. Select the layer and press the Edit button to change the layer properties. The absolute tool computation is set to the pile driving computation. The 3D objects are set. In the 3D object, pile, we can change the color of the pile in the leader. In this example it is green. Enable the user defined style to change the color. The same we can do for the designed pile to be placed. This is the 3D object, pile set point. We make the color of the selected pile set point red. We see in the view the pile in the leader is now green and the pile set point is red colored. The plan view construction bullseye has range rings around the position of the pile set point. The range of the rings is adjusted automatically if auto ranging is turned on. Turn the auto ranging off to zoom. From the pile driving control view are the designed piles set points loaded and selected. Press the select button to select a pile data file. A pile data file is a comma separated file with the design set point pile parameters. Let's take a look how such a file looks like. Here we open the pile data file. It is a comma separated file created in Excel. The file contains the following information. The pile name, the designed cutoff easting, cutoff northing, cutoff height, inclination. The pile inclination is positive when the pile is pointed to the pile rig. Or in other words, when standing on the pontoon the top of the pile will be over your head. The pile heading, the heading of the pile driving rig, the cross size of the pile, the along size of the pile, the length of the pile, the pile type and A is place column. If the select button is pressed, then the PDS ASCII import wizard opens to import the pile data file. Press the more options button to browse to this file. Select the file and press open. Select the import method. If earlier import configuration was created then we select use import configuration. If not, we have to run the import wizard. We will now show the wizard.
select the checkbox to save the wizard configuration. Enter a name for the configuration. And press next. In this example the data in the file is separated by semicolons. Therefore select the delimited option and press next. Select the used delimiter. In our case a semicolon. The first line of our pile data file contains text. This must be ignored by the importer. Select the skip lines checkbox and into one to ignore the first line. The proper names must be assigned to the columns. Right click on the column and select the correct name. In this example are the correct names already assigned. Assign the correct name for each column. Press finish when each column have the correct name. The pile data file is imported. A pile is selected from the drop down list. Or, alternatively by using the next and previous button. Or by clicking on the pile in the view. The parameters of the selected pile are shown. Press the Select Pile Type Shape button to select a different shape for the pile. In the pile data file are the pile shapes indicated by a number. The number is assigned to a certain shape. Let's now show how the pile placement workflow is after a pile data file is imported. We select a pile from the pile control view or by selecting it from one of the views. A pile can be selected in any view. The selected pile set point is red colored. We start maneuvering our pile driving rig in the correct position. We use the up-down indicators and the numeric values to guide us. We also maneuver our pile leader in the correct position. We use our added up-down indicator or numeric value to guide us. When we are satisfied about the positioning we drive our pile into the bottom. We press the pile place button after we finish driving the pile. During a set observation time is the end positioning of the pile saved. The placed pile is blue colored. The views are updated such the pile set point is replaced by the place pile position. We select the next pile of the pile data file. And start the process again by maneuvering the pile driving rig to this location. And in position we drive our pile again. Each time the pile placed button is pressed, a statistic report is created. This report must be configured by the user. Press the Configure Report button to configure the report. In this configuration, are the statistics of four items reported. Press New Item to add a new item to the report. Select the item. Set the graph parameter to Yes. To add to the report the time series graph of the item. The time series graph color, scale mode, minimum and maximum values can be set. Set here the time span for measuring the statistics. In this example 30 seconds. 
This means you have to wait 30 seconds before the report is created and you can select the next pile. Select a stack, or overlay the time series graph. This is how the created statistic report may look like. The results are listed numerically and graphically. In this movie we have seen how a pile driving vessel configuration may look like. The special pile driving device is always added. The views used for a pile driving project. How the pile data file looks like. To select this file from the pile driving control view. To select a pile set point. To use the views to position the pile. And to press the pile placed button to place the pile and to create a configured statistics report. Thank you.